The game said don't go upstairs, but I guess we're going to go upstairs. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Place, and today we're checking out a game that has a, some weirdness to it. Uh, it's either called Vermont or Don't Go Upstairs, or it's called Vermont Don't Go Upstairs. I'm not quite sure, but this is available in the GM. I'll have a link in the description box down below. There's a door and interact with, but there is a missing photo here of what appears to be a clown boy or something. Clown fella, clown person, clown carrot even. I don't know. And there's also a picture of an old couple who, a dude on the right kind of looks like old Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond. Just saying is all. I mean, have we ever seen this old guy and Bruce Wayne and Batman in the same room? I don't know. All these notes, what are all these things? Drawings, uh, something guide to wep weaponry. Flora and fauna of the Northeast. Hey, that's where I am. And our flora and fauna uh, is mostly just weeds and grass. Oh, the same photo. <gasps> Y'all go all with a little heart above its head. That's awesome. We got some weird photos. Just some weird smiles. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I uh, if I, I want to. Oh, why is this one all broken? What happened to that one? And it looks like an antler. Stop opening doors. Aim automatic doors. Also, our shit. It's pretty drafty in here, evidently, because our chandelier is going nuts. Also, it's Christmas time. Maybe, yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense with all the, what with all the presents and everything around here. Uh, there's a there's a gun, but I can't pick it up. Let's see. Ooh, there's a radio. I have a radio. Vermont missing. Vermont hunting laws to be discussed at next town meeting. Oh, well, I'm sure that our character is not happy about that. What with all his hunting trophies framed up here. What is this supposed to be? Did he hunt a stingray or what is that? Or a, a, what's that called? Spear, spear, spear fish? What's, what's the shark? That, not this, I don't think it's a shark. What's the, the fish with the giant nose? I'm actually drawing up. Can we talk about that face? I want to talk about that face. Because, I mean, one, the weird, why do you got a green moose? Did you, were, were, you, were we hunting in Chernobyl? But two, uh, I don't think fish have teeth generally. I mean, I'm not a fish expert, a fishologist, one may say. I have a battery? What is Oh, it's part of the leg just clipping, or not clipping through. Maybe it's designed that way. It could be designed that way. Who am I to throw shade on weird tables? I'm I'm a YouTuber. Of course, I'm going to throw shade on things. Why not? Ooh, what's this over here? Got some, uh, left their TV on to their graffiti channel. Always, always a pleasure to have that on there. And a f it's, I think this is a like a record player, phonograph or something. Or one of those old-timey Edison tube ones. Oh, this chandelier is going crazy too. I, the game said don't go upstairs, but I guess we're going to go upstairs. We're going to check out the long, dark hallway in a moment. First, we're going to go check out here, which is the same thing. Oh, saber tooth spotted on American soil. There are two. So... If there are two, and we're just making an assumption that there would be a male and a female, we want to breed them to continue the saber tooth legacy, not hunt them. Oh, to to be outdoors hunting guide. Oh, be outdoors. Oh, be outdoors. Kill them all. That's not the Metallica um, album, is it? Could be, for all I know. Not really, not really big on Metallica. Oh, be outdoors. Same thing. Yep. Okay. That, wait, hold on. That There's two different kill. No, no, no. It's it's all the same. Uh, I thought that the kill them all was in red. Uh, yeah. Let's go check out Long Dark Spooky Hallway while we're here, because of course. Don't just don't just play that noise at me. The rhinoceros too. So did we kill a saber tooth? There's something playing a uh, violin stings, and I don't know what it is. Something causing it. Sweet fire, bruh. Oh. Oh, here we are. This is where we go. We can see that we have hunted the saber tooth. Why, why do we feel short now? What's going on with this music? Why is the music getting so much louder? Very weird. I stand on the table. I didn't think that would actually do anything. I just want to stand on the table. Why not? 
I mean, we did it. We, we caught the saber tooth. I guess I just... Maybe? There's that violin sting again. Randomly plays. Uh, that's another moose. Um... I suppose we'll interact with things, maybe? Uh, I'm hitting, like, every button I can. But nothing's actually working to interact with the gun or to the door. That's, like, the only door that's not automatic. All the other doors just open... F all the other doors. The one other door opened automatically for me. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little lost. They're like, ooh, is there, like, a secret door? Something I can do to... Like maybe I interact with this weird dog? Who hunting dogs? What is that supposed to be? Oh, yeah, there you go. Swordfish. That's the word. Swordfish. I'm smart. I figured it out. Yes. Also, oh, there's another gun up here. I, mean, uh, I guess we're a hunter. Yeah, so this would be like, yeah, we'll put guns everywhere because we're so cool. Everyone respect me and my big... Never mind. Not going to go that far. Not going not gonna to go on that on YouTube. Does look like he's hunting weird pig dogs or something. Oh, E. God, I could have sworn I pressed E on the door. Uh, do I do something now? Oh, what's this? Okay. I'm a little lost now about... I've gotten into the door. Oh, secret door. The game just closed itself. Um. Okay. I'm very confused. He said, the, 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 the issue page says, uncover its secrets. Which, very weird because, yeah, it just says, press E to open closed doors, escape closes the game. I definitely did not hit the escape key. I can't open that door. Let's just speed run this then. We, if we, if we can get just up to that, and I'll see if that, that same thing happens. Because I... I feel like there's got to be more. Something. Are these doors? No. Let's, yeah, let's just try this again. Try to uncover its secrets. Yeah, that, I'm hitting E. I am hitting E this time. And nothing happens. Also, it's not really that much of a good secret if you have the, the things visible right here. Like, I can see that, that the saber-toothed tiger that you killed is right here. It, it's not even an endangered species, it's an extinct species. Maybe, maybe I gotta like go to the note or something first. That, maybe. That, the texture's over top of the TV. Okay. I'll do a little bit better layering, but that's fine. I'm very lost and confused. Oh, a radio. Oh, it's the, that's the remote. Okay, I get it now. That's the remote control for the door. Oh, wait, hold on, what's over here? Is this a thing? There's this like alcove here. What's up with this alcove? Um, all right. I, I guess? So, that's the remote control. That I should be able to open the door now. And, and then I just, Yep, now I can open the door. And then it plays spooky noises. Just have a revolver chilling here. So, if I open this... I don't want to just leave, though. I want to... I want, I want more. I'm very... It's, I'm very confused. Also, your triggers keep triggering as you walk through each checkpoint. I want to set them to only trigger once or... I mean, I'm not, I don't want to tell you how to run your game, but something, maybe, to not have it do that every single time. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. let's see, we, we, we uncovered the secrets of the game, which was apparently that we killed a saber tooth tiger and then put its, its body on display, which was not really a secret because of the fact that it's, Clearly visible through a window into that room. Oh, what's this? What's this say? Vermont hunting laws to be discussed. Uh, no. 
Okay, so yeah, it seems like it's just it's just that. Well, I've I've played games before, noise recently, where the game closes itself out, or or doesn't have a final trigger when you uh, get to the ending. So let's try this one more time and, and see. Because I mean, I really hope that this is not just the end. Let's go ahead, open that door, and not shove our face. Nope, the game just closes itself. And I also got a Steam VR error, which is funny because I don't have my VR headset plugged in. Um. Give me one second. So, there's actually two different releases of this game. The 2006 release, which is what we were playing, which I believe is basically just the graphics are not running, being run through a filter. The downside being that having this filter means it's almost impossible to read any of the notes, so all of the lore is thrown out the window. And I, I guess maybe this was done to try to appeal to the PS1 style aesthetics that so many people seem to like. God damn it, I forgot to get out of the remote. But if you're going to have a game where you're supposed to discover secrets and that relies on reading small handwritten notes or uh, newspaper articles, the graphics really don't help that much. Like, you, you should have it so that there's like a text over overlay or something when you are near a newspaper so you, you can actually get an idea of what they're saying. I, I would recommend the 2006 version over the 1999 version, but I just want to see if maybe this 1999 version has a proper ending once you get into this room. And no, it closes out as well. So make an actual ending to the game, please. <laughs> That's like the biggest thing. Something to tell you, yeah, the game didn't just crash. It's actually what you're supposed to do. But I hope you all enjoyed this bizarre game called Vermont. Uh, it's also called Vermont White Box or Vermont Don't Go Upstairs. I I don't know what the name is supposed to be, but it's interesting for sure. And just uh, I wish it had a clear, concise ending because it has a story. It has the basis of a story, at least. It just doesn't have a finale. It's like uh, I like watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one, but not part two. Why would you do that to yourself? I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates for release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.